up. Now let's go ahead and move down to the cast shadow. That's what we call a cast shadow. And the first object, first uh, value that we're going to have is accent. That's the darkest value uh, of the whole shading. And it's where this sits. And it does exactly what it says, accent. We want to accent this shape. By accenting this shape and by making it darker, we can help with that 3D look. Remember I said there's two ways to draw 3D. One is shading, whether it's black and white or color, and the other is drawing. So by accenting this value right here, notice that I'm shading horizontal or flat across because this is the table. You can do that. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. I went up too far on my sphere. So I'm going to gradually go, and if I go in circles, then it really doesn't matter what direction you shade. You could make it nice and smooth and look, make it look flat, especially on the table. So I'm going to work my way out from accent. The next value will be shadow, then reflected, and then finally direct. It's just like if we were to take this shading value line, cut it out, and turn it around this way and have the object sitting here. So that's what you've done here, is you've done the cast shadow right there on your value line. So I'm going to work it. And if it, if it helps turning the paper around so you can go this way, like this, that would probably work better for you. But I'm going to go in small little circles because I have to keep my paper flat here so we can film it. So I'm going to work it out. Then I'm going to go around and get rid of any outside lines that I have. And I'm going to make sure that this is all smooth and so I have no lines. The problem with shading this way, if you're not careful, it'll make it look like it's going downhill. So you want to take your time. and work it out. Now, I like just using uh, layers and using one pencil. There are many ways of doing this and one way I know that I see my colleagues that teach art do is they use three different values. They'll use a, a uh, um, a dark value like a 5 or a 6B and then they'll go with a 3B and then they'll go with a 2B. And I think if you can shade with one pencil it just makes it that much better. You don't have to worry about changing. But try it. See how, see how it comes out, see if you like it. All right, now I'm gonna blend the outside edge to be my direct light. There, see? And with that, we have a sphere, three-dimensionally shaded with five values, making sure that our values stick out from accent all the way to direct. And we have four values on our object here from uh, direct light, highlight, that's the highlight right there. Then reflect it in shadow. Well, happy drawing. I hope you the best and you have success at it. Remember, practice. That's what's going to make it perfect.